Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Brenda and thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. If you have not subscribed yet but you do enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. So for today's video, I am going to be attempting to make some Disney inspired treats. I don't know about you guys but here in our family, we really love Disney and not being able to visit the Disney parks means you don't get to taste all those tasty treats. And so I decided to try to make some of those here at home. I did find some recipes online and so I'm going to be trying to make those today. And I will leave everything in the description box for you guys. So this website where I found these recipes it does have a ton, a ton of recipes on there. Some from Disneyland and some from Walt Disney World. So you might be able to find your favorite treat on there. So the ones I'm going to be trying to make today is the beignets, the churros. But I'm also going to be trying to make a corn on the cob that was at... DCA for a while and then I will also be trying to make a Dole Whip. So I'm really excited to try these recipes out because if these work that is awesome. You don't have to wait till you go to Disneyland or Disney World to have these treats and you can make them yourself at home. So if you're interested in seeing how these treats turn out and if they're worth it then go ahead and keep on watching. So um, I wanted to kind of do the treats one at a time because I'm making them as I go and I don't want to taste them when they're not fresh. So what I'm going to be doing is as I make one and it's ready, I'll go ahead and test it out for you guys. And sorry about the echo, I am recording in my kitchen so it's going to sound kind of echoey. But I have the first treat ready and it is my homemade beignets and this is what they look like they smell really really good my whole house smells like funnel cake so i'm really excited to try these out and yeah let's give them a try here i go They're not bad. They're really tasty. I mean, anything that's fried is gonna be tasty. Um, honestly, they're pretty good to me. They don't taste like the beignets, unfortunately. I think the beignets from Disneyland have like a distinct flavor and they're really like, I don't know, like fluffy on the inside, I guess. And this is more of like, I don't know, it has like a cake consistency on the inside. Let me see if I can show you guys up close. So that's what it looks on the inside, what it looks like on the inside. Um, the flavor is pretty good, but I think it reminds me more of like a funnel cake rather than a beignet, but it's still a really tasty treat. I definitely would make this again. But I don't know, maybe it'll turn out different for you guys. So as far as when I was making them, the hardest part was 
dropping the batter into the oil because the shapes were coming out so crazy. So I was like thinking in my head, planning, hey, maybe I can do a Mickey shape. Yeah, all right. Like, yeah, I think that was the hardest part for me, just, um, just pouring the batter into the oil because if you're trying to make like a really cute shape, it's probably not gonna work out. And if you have any tips on how to make the shape nicer or how to keep the shape, then leave me a comment down below and let me know how. So like on a scale of one to 10, of it being similar to the beignets, I would probably give it like, I don't know, like a two, just because it doesn't taste like the beignet at all. As far as taste itself for this recipe, I think I would give it like, maybe like a six or a seven. It is tasty, um, but it's not something that I would eat really often or I would crave that much. So yeah, I think I would give it a six. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the second treat that I made. This one was a lot harder to make than the beignets. Number one, because I didn't have the right stuff to make it. So for this, you're supposed to use a piping bag and a specific tip, and I did not have that on hand. So my churros came out a little bit weird. <laughs> and so, I still followed the recipe completely, everything else I did have. And so the only thing is that my churro doesn't look like really big. So they're kind of small like this. <laughs> um, but I'm still gonna try them out to see what they taste like. So this is what the churros look like. And the recipe also came with a chocolate dipping sauce and I did I did go ahead and make that as well. So it is this one right here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Okay. I'm gonna taste just the churro on its own because the chocolate dip is so good. It's really delicious, but it's really overpowering, so I can't taste the churro that much. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so delicious. I'm so surprised because I had such a hard time with this. Oh my God. These taste really, really good. To be honest, I don't know if it's like Disney good, but these are delicious and the chocolate sauce is so good. It's like chocolatey, but at the same time, it has like a little bit of a salty flavor, but I really, really like it. So for this one, I guess comparing it to the Disney churros on a scale of one to 10, I would probably give it like, I don't know, for me, I'm thinking like an, a seven or an eight because they are really good. And the dipping sauce is not, it's not like anything I've tried at Disney, but usually we tend to get just the churros, but the dipping sauce is really great too. But yeah, this one I really recommend you guys try it out if you're big churro fans. This recipe is really good.
Okay, you guys, I have here the next treat that I made. This treat I have tried at Disneyland before. I believe this is a seasonal treat. When I tried it, it was during October and they sell this over at DCA, actually not Disneyland. And they sell them at the Cozy Cones. And so I have tried this before and I'm really excited to see what it tastes like. I do like mayo and if you're you're someone that doesn't like mayo, one of the ingredients for the sauce that goes underneath the Cheetos is mayo, but I'm pretty sure you can maybe figure out a way to substitute and um, use something else so the Cheetos stick onto your corn. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it came out pretty good. Let me try to get a close up. Look at all those Cheetos. Okay, you guys, I'm really excited, so let me just go ahead and try it out. Mm. It is really good. Okay, you guys, so I think this is super good. I really recommend this um, treat. This recipe is really delicious. Um, I'm a huge fan of hot Cheetos and so anything that's rolled in hot Cheetos I'm gonna try and this I have had tried before I don't remember if it tastes exactly like the one from DCA but it is really really good so this one I highly recommend I think I would give this one probably like a, for me a 9 out of 10 honestly like I will definitely make this for myself again Okay, you guys, we are on our last treat. This is the Dole Whip, and here it is. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so good. Especially for these times where it's starting to get a little bit hotter outside and you're craving something refreshing. Hopefully, this tastes really good. So, mine's kind of melting, as you can see already. It melts pretty quick. It was really hard. I tried to make it into like a little swirl, like how they have it there at Disneyland, but that didn't work out. It just kept sinking down, but this is what it looks like, and I'm just gonna go ahead and try it. Mmm, that is so good. Oh my gosh, this is really, really good. Um, the only thing I'm gonna say is I can still taste some of the pineapple. Like it it didn't um, completely like blend. So there's still little chunks of pineapple, but the flavor is so good, guys. I really recommend this one if you wanna try out something out of anything from today's video, it would have to be this one, definitely. So I would definitely have to give this a 10 out of 10. This is so good, you guys. It's not exactly like the ones from Disneyland because number one, it's a little bit chunky. And of course, I, it's not as aesthetically pleasing as the ones from Disneyland. But if you're craving something, if you're craving a Dole Whip, then make yourself one of these. You won't regret it. Okay, you guys, so we are done with our treats for today. That was really challenging, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a baker, I rarely bake anything. So today's, um, today's video was kind of challenging for me, but I think I did pretty well. I'm gonna say my two favorites definitely have to be the Dole Whip and <clears throat> the Elote with the Cheeto Puffs on it. And yeah, if you guys want to try any of these recipes out, I'm going to leave the link in the description box for you guys for the recipes. And I think this is just a really great way if you're missing Disneyland or you've never been to Disneyland and you want to try what some of the treats there taste like, then definitely try these out. And it's just something fun to pass the time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so before you go. Also hit that notification bell, that way you get notified when I post. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys are staying safe out there and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.